Good morning. Robert Davis back with you here. Happy New Week. Uh, it's Monday and we're starting a new week. Headed into the month of December soon. I guess that's Thursday. And so this morning what I want to uh, share with you is about the um, Interbase Administration uh, and how sim simple you can get this done. So let me do a little housekeeping here. And I am going to start Delphi here. And this is an Interbase application that I've written just to, as a test. Uh, I did it basically for the auto increment field or identity field that has to be programmed in SQL with a generator and tr a trigger and a generator. Um, and I went over that in the last tutorial. Uh, so let's see how this works. And see, we don't put the ID field up here in the edit area. We don't need to do that. It's maintained by the database. We really don't need to show it here either, but I do it just to check the results. So uh, our highest number is 36. So let's add a new record in our inner base table. And we'll make this tiny tin. Oh, tiny time, no. Give them a fictitious phone number of five six seven eight nine zero one, and we'll post this and see what happens by looking at our grid. There we go. Post it, and sure enough, he's added as number thirty seven. That's because we've programmed the. Uh, trigger and generator for this particular table um, through SQL script and I'm going to show you that here in a second. Let's fire up Interbase console minimize this and go to the Interbase console and here it is. By the way this comes free with your Interbase installation for Delphi at C++ and it's a tried and true database management console I like it a lot it's it's rock solid I haven't been able to break it which I was able to do with several other um, candidate software uh, but here we go we're in the test lib we'll go to tables Look at our auto ink. There's a structure, it's real simple. Um, and you can see by dependencies, the ID field has an ID auto ID. And then here's the data. And you see tiny Tim's in here. Now, um, just for some fun, we'll add a record here. And you see it, it defaults to negative one. We don't um, we don't need to touch that. It's for the test on the um, identity field, and we'll make this a uh, chain. You see, it's still negative one, but the difference is in the Interbase Administrator that we're using the Interbase Console, it hasn't been committed yet. You can add a lot of records before you commit. You can commit one by one, and that's what we'll do here. There you see, 38 Jane White. There you go. And you can see the different permissions the metadata or the DDL, data definition language, in SQL script. 
and there's the properties of the table. We can select which table from here, but there's the property in the test auto ink table. And let's go ahead and close this and look at uh, look at triggers. Here we go as our trigger for this particular table. Uh, it, it applies to this particular table. And I think we can look at dependencies and find out what, yeah. Uh, there's the DDL again. And uh, the properties with the DDL. And then uh, we're looking at triggers let's look at generators and you see this number this value right here is 38 and so it increments by one so the next number would be 39 if we put in another record so uh, but I'm not I'm not trying to recap the auto ink stuff, but it's important because Interbase does not have a native auto ink or identity field in it, so you have to write it in SQL code as a trigger and generator. And there has to be one for at least one for each table that you have. So you can uh, actually do relationships, related tables. So, uh, some of the cool things you can do with, um, here's a, here's a sample thing that came with it. Um, view system data. This has all your system tables owned by the SysDBA. And of course, uh, these tables, the regular tables, user tables, um, the owner is SysDBA. And we can go down here. I believe we can go down here and see. Oh, I'm sorry, that's for this database. Uh, can we view highlight options if you want to mess with that there's a select style um, haven't tried this existing connections will close yes okay you see it's changed styles here and uh, all we got to do is double click on that again and double click on our database and uh, oh, the, uh, I want to turn system data off. So we're back to our three user tables. Um, you can create users here by add user. And we'll just say... Um, Marco uh, Polo Polo and you can just leave it at that and say close and you see here's Marco Polo it's that simple to add users um, you can add servers uh, I haven't messed with the server manager. Let's look at that. Oh, yeah, it's just the server information and properties. And you can stop and start it here if you want. Um, 
and let's see what else can we do with server refresh server status log out user security so on and so forth you can go through the rest of those database add a new database create database do maintenance backup and restore uh, license manager new connection preferences configure tools windows doesn't show anything help shows this and here's your about this is version 14.0.0.501 the 32-bit edition and that installed with my Delphi Community Edition uh, installation automatically because I selected Interbase. And <coughs> that's a, this is one really good, it's rock solid. It, I haven't been able to break it. So this is one really good option. And in the next tutorial, I'll cover a different option, which also is free. It's a light version, but it does most of what we can do here. And we'll look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. And shut this down. Go back to Delphi. Um, and just as a reminder, I use the Unidac drivers, uh, components, data access components from devart.com. And I'll put that link in the description. They have a tendency to be the most Delphi-like. Uh, See, we want to, um, we can't edit that. Uh, we want to look at the connection editor. And you see here it is. Like, this is all you've got to really put in and point it to your database. Um, I'm going to change. Let's see. You may argue. P O L O. Connect. Yep, we can connect with Marco Polo. Now let's see, can we run it? Oh, no permission for read. So I didn't do enough to the Marco user. Um, we'll set this back to. DBA, the default login for, and the password is master key, all lowercase. Can we connect? Yes, we can. And this will definitely get it. There we go. And just to be sure, let's add a record. We'll call this Carl Sagan. He has no phone. He's up orbiting some planet, our planet or something. Um, so we'll go ahead and post this. And you come down here and you see there's Carl Sagan, number 39. He's the only one that doesn't have a phone number. Because he's in orbit somewhere. So anyway, uh, that's Interbase Admin with IB Console. And then the next tutorial, I'll cover another option for free Interbase Administration. So thanks for spending the time with me. I enjoyed doing it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. You all have a great week. And I'll see you next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.